What does it feel like? More sharpening. <laughs> Back hey Brian. Yeah. It's about time. <gasps> Are we doing a very important meeting? It's been a while. Oh my god. All right. Okay. For everybody who's not initiated, we're halfway through a shoot right now. Every so often, we have to have a very important meeting. So, what's the best video game you're playing? Currently, that... Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's Feels... Better than Witcher Three? No. What are you talking about? No, that's okay. madness. Witcher 3 is Sh amazing. Should I continue to play Hearthstone, or should I stop Hearthstone? Yes. And... Okay. <laughs> yes. I agree. You're not, you're not wrong. Frankly. You're not wrong. That's like saying, should I stop snorting all that cocaine? Well, well, but, but it's like, friend, yes, you should. You have a friend, problem. Whiskey Wolf is giving me really good advice. Who? I'm, I'm nailing it. On Hearthstone? Yeah, dude. He pops in. Uh, we spent like uh, uh, three hours this morning. He's just like... Uh, he sent me like uh, an email, like a, a status report, like he's strapped for her or something. And he's just like, these are the seven archetypes you're going to face. If you face this guy, he's secretly going to want to do A, B, or C. Have these plans in place. It's me, Vizier, out. You got him, Rock. <laughs> <laughs> you got to eat thunder and crap lightning. So there's this, uh, uh, my daughter's 15. And uh, she had some therapy sessions, and part of the security session uh, set up at this place is every time you open the front door, you hear a ding dong, and then you hear a voice go, front door. And, uh, and then we go upstairs or whatever, and after like the fourth or fifth time we went there, I was like, look, there's a Mr. Show sketch I need you to watch. She goes, what's Mr. Show? And so I explained Mr. Show sketch comedy in the vein of Monty Python. It's not don't stick your dick in these holes. No, no, no. Okay. It's, it's the fabulous house of the future where, where, oh. <laughs> where, where, where our non-sighted loved ones can experience an overall life. And, 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 you know, he walks forward with his eyes closed and he bumps into a chair and he goes, I am a chair. I am a chair. <laughs> He's like, oh, he bumps in like, I am a lamp. I am a lamp. And then he finishes and then stands awkwardly and then turns to the camera and says, blinds are like regulars now <laughs> and then and then and then uh david cross turns and says well what if you have extra money are there any special features how about the most fabulous feature of them all and it's basically celebrity voices <laughs> for, for all of the objects and so you know you're walking on the stairs and you're like i'm johnny carson uh, rich little as johnny carson <laughs> rich little <laughs> um Anyway, every time we go to therapy now, uh, we open the door and I just turn to Bo uh, Penny and say, blinds are like regulars now, and that tickles me. <laughs> hmm. So uh, how's, the, uh, how's the shoe situation going on today? Hot damn, man. Uh, not bad. I've just given up on these beasts. Like, I've gotten, I used to have pretty feet, and now so many people chair. have oh, requested pictures that... You know, much like the uh, <laughs> much like the woman who's Maybe tired of being hit on, I just want them to stop. So I, I hope to have Hobbit feet very soon. Mm. I'm uh, I'm applying minoxidil to the roofs of my of my feet. Old play. Sponsored by Keeps. Give Brian Hobbit feet. Goddamn right. <laughs> hashtag Hobbit feet, Brian. You want that? I need a hashtag. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Look, man. I just respond to what the people want. You're the they want hop a foot, Brian. By people? <laughs> what are we talking about he's, exactly? He's trying to get a Wikifeet page is what he's trying to do. Oh, is that a thing? What's what's Wikifeet? It's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. What is it, Bryce? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? It is a well-known... <laughs> I am writing an email. Actually. Like the Zuma Thurman have like the longest To interview. the admin of Wikifeet. <laughs> <laughs> talking about how this celebrity is listed as having a size 11 and it's really a size 10. Exposed. <laughs> so, so what, what, uh, what should we be consuming or playing or watching right now? Besides doing work, which we're clearly not. <laughs> sure we are. Well, me and, uh, me and this guy are on a huge adventure time journey. Yeah. Which, uh... I think I'm about to dive in, like, <laughs> real hard to start binging. Yeah, I really got turned around because I did not like the first time I ever sat down to watch it. I Me just, neither. I just thought it was random, non sequitur, Joan and Vasquez gets bored with a project bullshit. <laughs> and uh, and then I kept watching because, you know, help this guy out, finding him. 
and uh, acquiring, acquiring them. them. Brant. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a journey. I've I've cried no less than two or three times. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Crying. Wow. Yeah, there's some pretty profound stuff in there. Uh, by this point, you have seen the whole magic man tucks the little pocket full of <laughs> that, little guys. Yeah. And that last thing when Finn repeats what he says. But he's such a liar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> such a liar. Magic Man's an asshole. Adventure Time's one of the greatest TV shows of all time. I'm he's not talking about you, Brian. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, no. Might as well be. I mean, it works oh, yeah, either way. Magic Man, yeah. <laughs> it's like a palindrome. <laughs> yeah, Pendleton Ward actually said Magic Man inspired by that asshole from Scam School. <laughs> Sounds legit. <laughs> uh, Outer Wilds for me. Very good game. Outer yes. Wilds. You would love Outer Wilds, and you should not hear anything else about it. You should go play it game? Just yes. go play Outer Wilds. Yeah. Okay, hey, uh, my brother is deeply in love with watching, not the game itself, but watching you play Marbles. Oh, good. Okay. Yes, like, like, Marbles. Like, Marbles is great. He keeps on hitting me up on it. What is yeah. the conceit of Marbles? It's, exa it's exactly what it sounds like. So you don't have to sign up. Everybody in the chat just types in a command and they get a marble with their name on it, and it, they randomly get placed on these maps, and they drop, and whoever, it, it's like these racetracks. Got it. And whoever gets to the first wins, and there are points, uh, and you can do tournaments. They have a battle royale mode, which is weird, but it's kind of fun too. It's just RNG the game. Yeah, it's yeah. all random. But, random. But, but, but also you have labels of human beings who you know yeah. as uh, playing the game. It's, it's very good. It's very good. Do you always awesome. get a new marble, or can you keep your marble? So that's the monetization stuff, because oh. you can like pay to get effects or pay to buy skins or skin slots and stuff. It's a, uh, it's a whole thing. So can I? Are you about to get real? Because you're you're <laughs> leaning forward like you're about to get real. He's doing that. I'm getting, getting scared. Yeah. yeah. So 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 so, Hearthstone. Oh. Yeah. You, you can punch out at any time, but I think you'll like this idea. Okay. Uh, the question Justin and I were trying to figure out is like, how do you make it an esports phenomenon? on the level of, of Overwatch or something like that. And I realized the problem is, it's like you're looking at a virtual board with virtual cards, you're looking at two people staring at their screens. Spend the million dollars. Man, if you could do poker, you could sure as hell do That's what I'm saying, right? So all of a sudden, the table is a giant plasma interactive whatever, right? You're holding physical card cards with OLED displays. You are actually looking at them, making decisions. You, you, you develop the technology so that you throw the card down and animations happen, uh, and projectors and all that shit, and, 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 and shit catches fire, and all of a sudden, like, you know, two of his cars vanish or whatever. Like, you could do that not only for the TV stuff to, to make it a famous sport, but also, like, I would pay a hundred bucks a night to go to a tavern and play with physical cards uh -huh. and try out my... You, you go in... I saw that look. <laughs> You wouldn't do this? Are, are, no, there, no. are there physical Hearthstone cards? No. No. Okay. No, 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 no. The problem with Hearthstone is that all the cards do something different. And and everyone who's playing it knows exactly what they do by image. And having a physical card doesn't change that. You need, Correct. But, and, and specifically, like, like uh, you play a card that affects all the other cards. So that's the problem with Magic the Gathering. That's why they're always constantly having to nerf cards in the middle of tournament play and all that stuff. Whereas, imagine if you're holding cards and then, and and we're facing each other and Jason throws down a card and I watch in my hand as numbers change do 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 all of a sudden it's nine mana for everything and I'm like god damn it and so then and so I reach over and I grab another one and I'm like well at least I could do this and then I watch it freeze and 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 and, and, and something happens to your cards now all of a sudden we're playing poker and I'm seeing your eyes dart around and I'm figuring out I'll bet that's the, the his final win condition card that I just fucked up over there. So I'm gonna know when X, Y, or Z is gonna ha happen. But Come that, on, man, Blizzard, get with it. Are you kidding me? I think that's a brilliant idea. If they weren't uh, owned by Activision, that might actually happen. But Activision has been scaling back on their esports and, and uh, their employees and their employees, mm -hmm. despite um, having all the money. But all I know that is, is a brilliant idea. We live in a world. Is. We live in a world where the Luxor <laughs> Hotel. Bryce is less confused. I, I. I don't less, know what that's, I, I don't confused. think making it physical solves the problem of it being incomprehensible, though. Uh, well, it's... Uh, I, think you, I, I think those are two different things. I mean, it sounds like a very big spectacle, but I think the exact same story is, is as difficult to tell. There's still the barriers? Physical Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, or not. You, you, you solve them the same way you solve the, 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 the poker thing with, uh, you know, little side cameras and things that tell the percentages. and. and I can't wait to see you with just, like... 
big dark shades sitting there. Oh, I'm gonna wear like stuff. like an Oculus Rift gig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Bruh. oh my! Holy cow! It's, it's there, my friends. I believe we're calling an end to this very Ooh. important meeting. I think we have work to do. Wow! It could be sharper, but I think uh, it's pretty sharp. I think that'll work for. Woo. All right, what we're going people. for. Ah. <coughs> Actually. <laughs> we need to do that now. Let's buy a surface table. See, wait, that's what I'm thinking, right? Because they already do that. <laughs> that's right. Like right in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do those run well, like, now? Do that with interactive cards. Hey, puppies. Bye, Bryce.